What's going on guys, it's Steve. I've been in disbelief for almost 24 hours now. You know, you look at, when you grow up watching superstar NBA players like Kobe, LeBron, Carmelo, you know, you don't, you don't think that they can actually lose their life because you think they're superheroes. So this is going to be the toughest video ever, but you know, it's not about me. Let's make it about his wife, his father, his mother, his children, you know, because he lost his life and his daughter, 13 year old Gigi lost her life. And we, we know why the helicopter crashed from eyewitness accounts. And we're going to get to that in just a second. I want to first say that this should not have happened. You know, every now and then there'll be a death of, you know, a celebrity, but someone that's so big, they're known worldwide and it's just, it's awful, man. Kobe, I mean, Kobe, out of all people, you never expect a pro athlete this big to lose their life. You know, we, you, you just don't even imagine it. Kobe I, I I started bawling out crying like everyone else when the news broke and I couldn't believe it like I was saying every now and then someone so big it's Kobe now seven years ago it was Paul Walker four years before that it was Michael Jackson you know and then before that it was Aaliyah and you know what the common trend with all four of those people I just named it should not have happened. It should not have happened. Aaliyah, the pilot should have known that the plane was overweight with all that luggage they were packing in there. Michael Jackson's doctor should have known. Paul Walker's friend should have known not to be driving reckless like that. And the helicopter pilot should have known it was too foggy outside. That's why the helicopter crashed. From eyewitness accounts, the helicopter was hovering right above, I forget the name of the highway, right above the highway. And then right before it crashed, the pilot, it looked like the pilot was disoriented. And the pilot, it's like the Bermuda Triangle. Everyone thinks, you know, oh, it's some mystical, mythical stuff. No, it's just like you get disoriented. And that's what happened with the pilot. He didn't know what was up, down, left, or right. Because it was so foggy, so foggy that the police helicopters were grounded. So foggy that people on the ground could hear the helicopter right above them and couldn't even see them. The people couldn't even see the helicopter crash. They just saw the flames and the explosion afterwards. This should not have happened. Things like this should not happen. He should not have been flying. And it is so heartbreaking because Kobe Bryant, his 13 year old daughter Gigi, and everyone else on board should be waking up this morning like the rest of us. Kobe just congratulated LeBron James. He just congratulated LeBron James on passing him on the all-time scoring list. And you hear my voice breaking up, cracking? You know, I'm not making this about me. This isn't about anyone but Kobe and his family. All right, but when you grow up watching someone like everyone else, you know, it's so heartbreaking. And then, you know, at first, when I first found out, I thought it was just Kobe and like a few of his friends you know and obviously a pilot and then about a few hours or an hour or two later i hear a report saying his daughter was on the plane on the helicopter too and my heart dropped even more his 13 year old daughter lost her life as well things like this shouldn't happen to anyone, let alone Kobe Bryant, uh, someone that everyone views as a superhero. When you think of Kobe, LeBron, Carmelo, Durant, 
Steph, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, all-time greats like that, Dwayne Wade. When you think of people like that, Tracy McGrady, you think they're superheroes. Shaquille O'Neal, you, you think superhero. Larger than life. Not possible for them to actually lose their life. And for Kobe to go out like this, like Paul Walker did, like Michael Jackson did, like Aaliyah did, like XXX did, when it should not have happened, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> it is so heartbreaking. And I keep Kobe in your prayers for, for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. And it's sad because in my home, I have a little section of people that impacted my life that have passed away. So I have Biggie, I have Tupac, I have Paul Walker, I have XXX Tentacion, and sadly, I have to put Kobe up there. And I just can't even imagine what his wife and his children are feeling like losing their sister, their daughter, their father, their husband. And looking at this picture right here that I have on screen, I it just it doesn't seem real. But it is that's the reason why the helicopter crashed. Anyway, guys, I'm probably gonna make another video. But just do what Kobe did. You know? You wanna honor Kobe? Honor him this way. Work your butt off. And be successful. No excuses. Anyway, guys. We're all reeling, but the reality is, man, there's people that are suffering way more than us fans are. And that's his, that's his real family. So keep them in your prayers and never forget Kobe. Peace.